when I'm cooking those classic Aussie dishes that we all love and I want to make them come alive, I use Vegeta Gourmet Stock. We are going to cook this lovely rolled leg of lamb. I've stuffed it with some spinach and pine nuts as well. So I need to get that up in the oven shortly. I'm just going to season it up first. Don't worry about making a mess with this one. Salt and pepper and then some Vegeta Gourmet Stock. What we're going to do, there you go, get it all over the board, that's fine. I'm going to roll it all over and then I'll show you a little trick with the rosemary. We're just going to pull the rosemary off. Don't worry about all the chunky bits because it's just going to flavour while we're cooking, okay? Break that off, stick it in there, roll it around, there we go. That's going to go straight into our baking dish there. Got some lovely veggies, I've done some zucchini, some Spanish onion, parsnip potato and a little bit of garlic as well. Beautiful. Get rid of that. This now is going to go straight into the oven, 180 degrees for probably about 40 minutes or so. Okay. I've got some pumpkin and leek soup here. Just going to season with just a spoonful of vegetta and it's going to taste delicious. Okay, so now the pumpkin soup's all under control. We're going to start on our mashed potato, which I've got here. Now I'm going to let this down with a bit of chicken stock and then we're also going to add some beautiful spring onions, which I've already got done here. So three cups of boiling water, three teaspoons, of our Vegeta Gourmet Stock. One, two, three. Give it a little whisk, and that's all it takes. So now we're gonna add our Gourmet Chicken Stock to the mashed potato, just go little by little. We're gonna mash it in, and then add some spring onions, and that is us done. I'd personally use the Vegeta Gourmet stock as just a really great general use item. I've always got it in my pantry. I love using Vegeta because the flavor just tastes better.